Welcome to this video about this GUI I made for Outrive 3.6 and other compatible boards using Python. First I will go over the code so that you get an idea of how it's structured and then I will set up a board using the GUI. First there are the imports, then there are the Outrive dictionaries, for example the motor types you can select. Then there are some functions, these don't mean much by themselves so I won't go over these. The GUI sections are made from label frame objects. And these contain the GUI rows. Each row is one setting, for example a text box setting or a drop down setting. Here the GUI window is created and configured. And then it adds a searching for an O-Drive label. After that it starts looking for an O-Drive and once it's found one, it will destroy the label and starts adding the sections and settings. So the first section is essential settings. It adds in the Erase Configuration button a drop-down setting for the motor type. This list of settings all get their own textbook setting using this for loop. Some more drop-down settings. As you can see, you can really just use the building blocks that I programmed to create your own version of the GUI. You can add or remove sections and settings the way you like it or the way you need it for your project. And that was my goal for this project, that anyone can create their own version of the GUI. As I said before, the first section are the essential settings. Here is the Erase Configuration button, but I already pressed this one. Here are the settings with the tooltips if you don't know what the setting means. And there is the input, the send button to send the command to the O drive. And then there is the current value that's saved in the O drive. Now I will enter and select the settings that apply to my setup. So I can now send these settings to the O-Drive. I can save and reboot. So I restarted the GUI and as you can see the settings have changed. I can now do the full calibration sequence. That's the motor calibration. And that's the encoder offset calibration. I also need to change the PID values because of my motor. Save and reboot. Now I can do a test move, but first I need to go into closed loop control. Test position. Test velocity. I can go back into idle. For the startup sequence, I can choose between startup motor calibration or safe motor calibration, so the motor doesn't need to calibrate on startup. And the same for the encoder, so the motor is already calibrated, so I can just send this. And the same for the encoder. I can also enable startup closed loop control. Save and reboot. Now the board has restarted and the motor is directly in closed loop control without any calibration. So I can do another test move. And as you can see, this works. There are some extra settings and as I said before, you can add and remove settings and sections the way you like it or the way you need it for your project. There's also application setup where you can choose the control mode and the input mode and the PID tuning that I used before. One last thing I wanted to say is that if the buttons of the GUI don't work anymore or an error doesn't go away, it's a good idea to restart the GUI or power cycle the board. If the board doesn't want to connect anymore, you can use the Zedek tool to change the driver of the native interface. That was it for this video. If you have any questions, you can ask them in the comments below. Please consider subscribing and I will see you in the next video. Thanks for watching. Bye.